Hello fellow screen printers, I am Alex Navalio from the Philippines and I want to share with you my uh, newly uh, finished uh, innovated uh, multi-purpose screen printing device. It is a compact one and that uh, it can be used in many works for screen printing except the uh, washing of the uh, exposed uh, emulsion on the screen. First of all, you can see that uh, this uh, unit is a uh, uh, a rack, a shelf for uh, the uh, screen frames wherein uh, we have to dry the coated uh, 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 the frame uh, coated with uh, emulsion and uh, it should be uh, very dark inside so there is a carton and then you can also use this in uh, drying your uh, screen frames after cleaning it washing it and then you have a table, working table. Now, the second use is that uh, this, this top, when you remove this, you see that you have a uh, you have the exposure unit okay the exposure unit yeah. you in expose the motion coated screens in here they're not on the right and then you can Pose your screen. Hold on, and uh, I will uh, turn the lights on. There you are. It is made of uh, simple LED modules. Uh, previously, I am using the uh, halogen spotlights, but uh, it's quite very hot and then it uh, consumes a lot of uh, electricity. Uh, so there it is, the second juice. And then the third use of this workstation is that I can use this thing when I make my screen fringe. How is that? It's like this. This one is a pre-made uh, frame. It's just made of uh, plywood, three-port plywood. And then there are nails on it. This, I'm using this for stretching my uh, screen mesh. And uh, I put nails around the perimeter of this frame. And then uh, I call this uh, the male male frame and uh, this is the female one wherein there are holes that matches the points where the nails are so uh, that, like that. so when I do the frames it's like this my big cut uh, actually I also use uh, five boards on my screen frames and I assemble it like this. So with this guide, you already have the 90 degrees angles and each flat. Uh, to fix the corners, just use the stick well, stick well glue, and then uh, put glues here both sides and then use the gun tacker to 
fix it. Actually, I use uh, five staple here, five here, and then the other side is the same way. And do it on all the four corners. So when the screen frame is completed, it should be like this. You have the staple wires. Actually, this one has four, but uh, the glue helps in making this uh, a rigid frame. It will not move because uh, it is held on both sides with a staple wire. This one already has a screen stretched on it. So, in stretching the screen, it works like this. I remove the screen first. Okay. And then, the screen mesh. Actually, uh, you put it, just fix it on the nail. It would be better if you use the nail gun cutter. Oh, where are you? Better to use the gun tucker to fix all sides, four sides. Here, yes. So if you In fixing this, you fix the uh, four corner, four corner first. Okay, I'll show you how. Fix the four corners. Two. Three. Once the four corners are fixed, you put the screen mask on the nail. Two at a time on both ends so that the you can stretch it properly. Okay. This is very fast. I managed to uh, stretch the screens in a matter of uh, seven minutes. But uh, be careful with the nails because uh, it's quite sharp. So that uh, you won't puncture your fingers. So I decide now. After this, you have to puncture where the holes of the uh, bolts are. Here. I only have four located at the middle. And then show you how to fix the frame at the bottom already has a 
skin on it like that and just show you how it is done. So I put these knobs. And another one. Where are you? There. Another one here. Okay, now it's been set. Okay, the theory is like this. The more turns you do, like this, it will tighten the bolts here. There's a nut underneath the table. Mm -hmm. And then the, then you tighten it some more. You can tighten it as, until it reaches surface of the table. Okay. Okay. Actually this one you can uh, wet the surface of the screen glass so that uh, it won't feel the tension. So the more you turn these uh, knobs the more stretched it will get. Okay. Don't worry about the sound because uh, it's just the screen being uh, pulled by the nails. And it won't rip the screen mask. Okay. I can still go further. I can do this. And uh, you can already see that uh, it's very tight. So, this is the uh, screen stretcher. You can make it more stronger if you use a solid timber for the mail frame or at least aluminum and uh, it won't back uh, in the corner. Or rather you can put uh, two bolts here instead of one. So that's it for the uh, screen print. Uh, screen stretch. You can see that it's very tight. Okay. So that's. I'll show you one more use of this uh, multipurpose workstation. I just remove this screen stretcher. So another use of this thing is that uh, the tabletop can be used as the uh, cone.
the use of uh, one of these uh, bolts, you can uh, fix it so that it won't be moving. So this is my screen printer and I have this uh, kick leg so when you open this it will help, help open if you want to close it you just simply push the kick leg and then you can go on with your printing. So, the construction of this one is made of two frames. I have one frame, it's a main frame attached to this, uh, the clamps, and another frame which I uh, uh, similarly stretched a while ago will go on this side. So when I want to attach it, I will register the, uh, the image and then screw it on the main frame here. So whatever size of the screen I have, I can attach on the main frame that's the main use of my plywood flyboard frames no need to be a big one and that, uh, I can use it very easily so together with that I have this uh, the flash cure unit in which uh, I will cure the uh, ink. By the way, I am using flash diesel inks so that uh, it won't dry on the uh, screen mess. And for me, it has uh, more advantage than the water based. So that's it folks, and I hope you enjoy my video, and uh, I also hope that you at least get some ideas, brand new ideas on how to do your screen printing devices. It's a DIY and uh, you don't have to pay expensive uh, devices. And uh, we can just simply do it ourselves. Thank you very much and uh, have a good day.